All right, so today, my presentation is on the living legend, Muhammad Ali. Now, we're going to start off by doing a skit. This skit is going to be divided into two parts, and we're going to start the first one. It's two skits, and we're going to start the first one now. <laughs>
What you want to do is wait and wait and wait. And as soon as your opponent makes his move, you use your lightning fast speed to knock him on his blind side and knock him down. But we don't exactly have lightning fast speed. We're the best punches. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta practice. You gotta practice and practice until you can't practice no more. Until you're like me. Not as good as me, <laughs> but just as good. Just teach us the damn move. Right? I just taught you, didn't I? So that's it? Yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do. That's how I started. Now, gentlemen, I've watched you boys grow up into fine fighting gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> all of you have been in for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I want you boys to go out and put the hurting on them two boys that took your bodies. I'm coming in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> well, <there's McDonald's. laughs> Next scene. nonsense type of show. Now we have our first guest here, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ali. Hello, sir. It's nice to be here. How are you today, Mr. Ali? Mine are fine. Now, Mr. Ali, we are going to play a little game here today. A game that helps you <laughs> and our viewers learn the greatest a little bit better. By all means, continue with this game. We are going to ask you a series of rhetorical questions. <laughs> <laughs> but we would like for you to answer them out loud if you could work. <laughs> These questions are going to detail scenarios. And in these scenarios, you should tell us what you would do. Okay. Our first question. What if you saw a little old woman coming down the street and a man running behind her? He comes up, snatches her purse, and starts to beat her. What would you do? Well, first I'd say, I'd call out that ugly bear right there chasing that good old lady, and I'd hit him ten times. Then I'd hit him a hundred times before he even knows it. And by, by the time he's down, I'll snatch that purse right from him, dust it off, and give it back to that good old lady, because she deserves her purse. All right? <laughs> We're all brothers and sisters in this world, and we need to look out for one another, we need to look out for one another despite the risks. I'm great. <laughs> Mr. Ali, you said that you could throw a hundred punches. In which time span do you think you could get this done? Two to ten seconds. A little arrogant, don't you think? No. <laughs> Neither do I. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ali. <laughs> Let's say that you have a fighting tournament in Nigeria, and the only way you can get there is by plane. Would you do it? You say by plane? I'd rather swim across the Atlantic Ocean than go by plane. I don't care if all my trainers had to pull me out of my house, tie me up, and stuff me on that plane. I ain't going. Planes are the devil's toys. I would never go on no plane. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's so. Is that so? Yeah. If I, if I ask you how you came to be with us I took a bus. this day, how very convenient for you. Set on your numero trace. Now, let's put you in the ring. The heavyweight title is on the other side, but it's being guarded by ten boxes. Would you fight them and still be able to get it? You know what? I'd fight every single one of them, knock them down, pull them back up, and then knock them down again because that's what I do and that's what I do best. It's me, Muhammad Ali. I'm the greatest. I deserve that title. <laughs> it's not how you achieve your goals. It's just you need the biggest mind and the biggest heart. And mine's bigger than anybody's and that's why I'm the greatest. That's very pompous of you, but also very inspiring. Thanks. That's all the time we have for today. Join us tomorrow on the Mary Gibb talk show. But for now, please 
give a warm exit to our guest, Muhammad Ali. Now, Muhammad Ali, he had a signature move that he used in all of his matches. <laughs> There are many people trying to learn how to do the Ali Shuffle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the regular dance that I use right before the shuffle. I'm moving and I'm moving and just before you know it, <laughs> that's the Ali Shuffle. It's from the side beat, there's the Ali Shuffle from the front beat. And after you do that Ali Shuffle, a split second right after that is a good punch. <laughs> and this move is something that's designed to make my opponent scuffle. Now let's see an instant replay of that. Thank you. Okay. 